Hello, and welcome to a very special edition of One Bad Veggie's Root Beer Review, where in this review, we find out if there's anything special about the nutmeg in Bavaria. And speaking of special, I did promise in the, at the end of the last uh, review that I would be doing a special review this time. So what I meant by that was that there are a few root beers out there that uh, I consider um, to be kind of like special. This And this one in particular is, I believe, a seasonal root beer and uh, really uh, hard to get sometimes. Um, I remember I specifically had to order like a four pack of this from the Virgil's website during Christmas time to get these. And uh, obviously just by saying that, uh, this is the Virgil's Bavarian Nutmeg. Um, you'll see that uh, they do some premium packaging with this and everything. Um, it's, it's, it's a nifty little thing. I actually, I love the bottle for it. I wish more people would use this uh, bottle design for their special brews of some sort but um otherwise yeah let's uh go ahead and get into the ingredients and um this should be interesting because uh i have not uh i i, I had a i've had this before this is technically a re-review um also but uh i have not had it since uh reeds changed the formula for virgils so i'm interested in seeing if uh, they've left the Bavarian nutmeg alone or if they've decided to simplify it like they did with uh, the regular Virgils as well. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the ingredients. So I actually went back and looked at the old ingredients from the original review and uh, then compared it to the bottle of the new one because the original review was done before, uh, I believe Reed's changed um, the way that Virgil's makes its root beer. And if you remember from the original video or for the video for regular Virgil's that the old um, ingredients list was pretty like, you know, uh, fancy, I guess you would say. Um, surprisingly though, the ing ingredients um, for this one are not uh, well, as you can see, they're not as fancy, but however, check out this packaging. That is what I call fancy. Now, it's hard to tell. I've got a bottle of water here. You know what? Let me, I'll just show you compared to a bottle of water. Bottle of water is somewhat the same size as a bottle of root beer, but in comparison, you can see that this bottle of root beer is, is pretty big, right? So, uh, it definitely will not um fit inside of a mug that's not gonna happen uh well not all of it so we'll just pour as much as we can when we get there uh anyway uh so funny part is is like as fancy as the original virgil's um is uh this one even in the even in the old review has a very non-descriptive um ingredients list which is kind of strange to me considering that this is their special edition i would think that they would want to flaunt it even more but um yeah i mean not much to say other than that it's got a pretty basic uh again we are slaves to the natural and artificial ingredients gods trying to figure out what the heck is inside of this thing so for now Let's go ahead and open it up and take a sniff, because I have a feeling that this one's going to smell pretty nice. I love nutmeg. So, hopefully it smells like that. Alright, let's go ahead, get the bottle here. Now this should be fun, because you've got the sticker on it first. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, that's like... That's like a nice sticker. I wonder if I can just, like... No, that's not gonna work. Uh, oh, crap. Scissors. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this. There we go. Now, here we go, boys and girls. Gonna pop the top. Let's, let's get all up in there. 
Oh! Okay, I did not expect that. I think I just got like root beer dust everywhere. But that's okay. It's open! Alright. Hmm. Well, you know, uh, maybe I've been, and spoils the wrong word, but um, maybe my expectations have been set to a different level now because of uh, the uh, butterscotch and maple root beers from Ramblin, where, you know, the smell that's on the label, or the, the flavor that's on the label, is basically the entire scent. Open this one up. Smells like root beer. Um, don't have like a prevailing smell of nutmeg or anything like that but also nutmeg is a much less active scent i think in things i mean you can kind of smell it in desserts and stuff like that but you really taste it more than you smell it so that's probably another reason why too uh hopefully i can taste it in this one and um so let's go ahead and uh, pour this and see how if it's got a nice frothy foam and see how the foam tastes too. Maybe you can taste the nutmeg in the foam. That's been the prevalent uh, way of getting uh, those extra flavors out of it so far. So, um, out of previous drinks, I should say. Anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. If there's anything out there that's gonna like show you the sides of this bottle, it's sitting it next to the trusty mug. You know, I mean, it's almost it's almost the size of the mug. Probably, actually, probably. You know, if you condense down the. Uh, the actual bottle top it would probably be pretty pretty close anyway let's go ahead and pour this not a very long lasting froth let's go ahead and try to get a taste of this before it goes nope it's gone it's gone um, didn't even have a chance to change the camera, but yeah, it's already gone. I mean, you saw it. You saw it. I know you saw it. So, um, I mean, there's nothing to taste, which is kind of disappointing. I'm going to go ahead and fill it all the way though. Cause there's still, well, there's still about like an eighth of this bottle left in here. It's actually, it actually, the mug fills it pretty well. Actually. Oh, look at that. Well, you can't see it. Hold on, let me show you again real quick. Look at that. Fills it perfectly. No froth. Disappointing, but what are you going to do? Who cares, really? I care. I care. I'm the one who cares. Um, so let's go ahead and taste this. I'm, I'm excited. I, you know, after, after the last Virgil's outing and me approving of the new formula, actually, more so than the old one, um, I'm interested in seeing if this still tastes like the old one or if it tastes like the new one, actually. So let's go ahead and try it out. All right. Nice big mug of root beer. Bottoms up. What a complicated case we have here. First thing is for people who miss the way that Virgil's used to taste. This is how I remember it tasting. Uh, very, very strong flavor of anise. You know, it's uh, it's got a good bite to it. And the nutmeg, I feel like the nutmeg I can taste it. It's in the aftertaste. And while you're drinking it, it's almost like on the sides of your tongue. It's like, just like, just, just a little tiny hint of it, but it's there, which is like, like I was saying in the last review, that's how you, that's, uh, that's probably the best way to flavor, add flavor to root beer is just make it an accent. Don't make it th the, 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 the point, you know what I mean? Don't make it uh, the most, the main thing you taste. You want, you want people to taste your recipe for your root beer. 
and then anything else is just a little bit of just a little bit of something extra just a little bit of something extra that's that in my opinion is the best way to do a flavored root beer unless it's vanilla then put as much vanilla as you want in it that's not true don't listen to me um but yeah anyway um so i'm gonna leave it at that for now and we're gonna get into the overall grade because this is this is an interesting conundrum the problem i'm having is i've been vocal about me enjoying the sweeter newer version of virgil's rather than the old one um because i am not a big fan of licorice heavy root beers which virgil's always was now like i said this definitely hints more towards that original version of virgil's than um the new version of virgil's um in fact it's like this the thing the thing that about this is is again if you like virgil's the original virgil's you'll love this this stuff is great not only that but like i said the accent of the nutmeg uh is actually uh it's a good thing like uh it's one of the more positive aspects that i found of this particular drink um however seeing as i am not a big fan of virgil's old recipe um i am personally going to give this a d because i just i just was never a big fan of virgil's um that said and as i previously said if you are a big fan of the old recipe for virgil's uh this is just a better version of that assuming you uh enjoy the flavor of nutmeg um at all and again it's 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 just a hint of it but it's a hint of enough to just like mm, 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 mm. it's like it's like there at the end and I think it tastes good myself, but like I said, it was kind of my favorite aspect of the drink is the aftertaste almost. Um, I said before, it has a good bite. Um, you know, I, I have, I think I've heard this one described as smooth. I, I didn't find it particularly smooth, uh, but you know, Otherwise, though, I mean, yeah, like I said, it's a D and it's not, it's not even like a, um, like I'm upset with it. This is literally just one of those times where it's like, I'm just not a fan of the flavor profile of Virgil's, but I already knew that going into it. So, um, I was curious to see if maybe they would have, uh, changed it to the new version but uh, apparently they stuck with the old one, which I think overall that's a good thing. I think uh, I think there needs to be something on the market that uh, is a bit more licorice heavy like Virgil's um, and more premium because there are some that are licorice heavy that aren't very good, <laughs> let's say. Uh, at least with Virgil's, they do try to you know, there's a lot of different spices and stuff in Virgil's root beer. And uh, at least they try to be uh, more on that side. Less creamy, more spicy. Um, not literally spicy, but you know that. You know what I mean. So anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. So yeah, D. And that's it for this review. Um, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and give a, a like, and if you enjoy other reviews, please feel free to give a subscribe as well, and especially comment. Um, as you can see, I'm still in this camera, um, view right now. I still haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with that. Uh, the lighting, I might change some of the lighting and stuff like that, because as you can see, when I do this, I've got the ring lights right in my eyes, and just looks funky so i might 
get another ring light, put it over here. Anyway, you guys don't care about that stuff. You care about the root beer. So, um, that's it for now. And um, I hope you had a good time. <laughs>